like and subscribe, or this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What fetish did your ex have that did absolutely nothing for you? My ex would always painfully squeeze my b asterisk lls right after a b asterisk job. When I screamed she would just look at me and say you're welcome. She thought she was being kinky, all it did was give me an irrational fear of getting a bj ever again. Edit, wow, I did not expect anyone to read this. Thank you everyone for the upvotes. Edit x2, for those wondering why I didn't tell her to stop. I did tell her, several times, but she refused to listen, because she thought it was hot. She was legit crazy. When I finally broke up with her she got so upset that she threw up, started banging her head against the wall, and started clawing at her arms until they bled. Called negative reinforcement and she successfully conditioned you to not ask for BJ's. Edit, wow I did not expect to wake up to so much deliberation and these many upvotes on my comment. I stand corrected. I guess you could say I was positively reinforced myself, what with that award and all. Thank you. This is a common misconception. Negative reinforcement is when you take away a negative experience, not when you bring one into the picture. This is more like classical conditioning. Edit, as a few other people pointed out, negative reinforcement is when you take away any kind of stimulus, it doesn't have to be a negative stimulus. And this is positive punishment, meaning you bring a punishment into the picture. It isn't classical conditioning. So it's positive punishment as you're adding something to reduce the target behavior. Pavlovian response. Pain associated with job rather than pleasure. I feel for you, man. My wife is into tentacle hentai, it's not really my thing, but I love her, so I put on the squid monster costume. I don't know why, but you two seem like a cute couple. It's BC they love each other, and op put on tentacle costume for her. I once had a guy that asked me to wear my work uniform. I worked at McDonald's at the time, back when we wore clunky polyester. Edit, don't be up in my DMs about this anymore, I'm not gonna be McLovin on you. Go to horny jail. Edit x2, thank you for the gold. Just like golden fries. And other things. Ha ha ha. The polyester alone can cause allergy friction. I'm hesitant to ask what his order was. A McMuffin OFC. A McStiffin. Gross. Not because of food safety or anything. I hadn't even thought of that. I worked at a McDonald's, and I wouldn't let those clothes near the dog's bed. Those clothes were disgusting, and reeked of mixture of mayonnaise, mustard and day old fryer grease. Didn't matter that I washed it. They'd given me two pairs of pants and three shirts and I worked five or six days per week. I'm repulsed by the very idea. On the plus side, it would probably make me vomit, and that might improve the smell of the clothes. She wanted to be woken up with six, but it did nothing for me, because she always woke up first. Okay, look. I'd suck on your feet, I'd pee on you, if that was your thing, but you want me to wake up earlier for you? Sorry, but that's too much. Sleep is my hobby. I once dated a guy that told me he had a thing for waterboarding. As in, he had waterboarded his exes with their consent. That's an ope from me, brap. Was he a prison guard at Guantanamo Bay? Guantanamo B. She liked to babatalk to my D and blow on it, while never on a whole relationship Jamie off. Or giving me HIDK, if that was her kink but yeah, it's not a turn on when someone starts talking to my P asterisk NIS, and never actually does anything with it lol. I shall call him Squishy, and he shall be mine, and he shall be my Squishy. Come on, Squishy. Come on, little Squishy. I'm never going to be able to enjoy Finding Nemo again. I'll enjoy it a whole lot more. Being THROATF asterisk D until I vomited. Edit, I consented 100%. This is not a story of abuse lol we just discovered he had a vomit fetish. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus, oh hell no don't call my name into this thread of heresy. She would absolutely quiver about having her eyes licked. I didn't know 
that Oculolinctus was a thing, until I dated her. Oculolinctus. Worst day at Hogwarts ever. It's Oculolinctus, not Oculolincta. How do I delete someone else's post? She really wanted me to know what penetration feels like, and wanted to peg me. I just didn't have the courage to lay down and get piped. Always keeps me up at night, what does it actually feel like? I mean I put my finger up my SS, but never had someone ram something into my SS. You are quite philosophical. Yeah that was pretty deep. But not deep enough. He liked the idea of fooling around in public and almost getting caught. I like being in my apartment or hotels or places, that it's totally normal and acceptable to bang. The anxiety of almost getting caught was a turn off to me. Yep. I also dated one of those guys. Had to be in the front window of the apartment. Or in an alley. Or in the mall. Did nothing for me. Dated a woman who liked this. She stands up, and her dress drops to cover her genitals. I'm left swinging in the wind, impossible to tuck the little bastard away, and, if caught by the police, on the sex offenders list, all f asterisk king set. You should have one address as well. Petition to normalize kills. One of my exes liked me to slap, and tug on his balls. It didn't do much for me, and honestly for the first 6 months I was too afraid to do much to them. My boyfriend likes this too. Not slapping them but like, tugging the shit out of them. As far as they could physically go. Makes me so nervous. Seems like it would hurt so bad. Just stop when you hear a ripping sound. F-U-F-U-F-U oh god. He absolutely loved it, when people washed dishes. I wish I was kidding, but it got him sprung to watch me do dishes. He also worked in a dish room at a local college, which was uncomfortable. Hats off to him for finding pleasure in his job though. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Because you'll be too busy spanking it in the break room to get anything else done. Are you sure he wasn't just getting you to do his chores? Damn, I need to tell my girl about my thesis paper fetish. She wanted me to slap her during sex. I just wasn't down for it. She liked being choked too. I did on occasion, but I just didn't feel comfortable doing. One time she wanted me to hold a knife to her throat. I definitely wasn't going to do that one. That was normal until the end WTF. Yeah seriously. A little rough is fine, but a knife to the throat? Yikes. I had an ex who wanted me to hold a loaded gun to his head while he went down on me. He said he liked to feel close to death. It was all fun and games until the knife kink attacked. Bro my ex was wild. I remember one time she was on top, she liked being choked and hit. I didn't. She was on top, she blasted me with a hard backhand slash slap to the face when she was riding me getting too into it. She ended up being the craziest most manipulative, life destroying girl ever. She ruined my life in a way. Sex was fire though, when she wasn't throwing hands. Yay I knew a girl like this, except it was hair pulling. It was a constant hair pulling contest back and forth making each other more angry and hate fucking with every pull. It's been years, since I've seen her, and I still, can't decide if I liked it or not. Thank you for supporting planet reddit. I love you, subscribe for 3 videos a day.